Now, a while back, Roy, over at blacksmithingblanks.com, you might know him better as Christ Centered Ironworks, sent me a whole bunch of hook blanks. These are all pre-cut project blanks, so you can make hooks quickly and efficiently with lots of different decorative elements. One of those hooks is an apple, and since today is Halloween, I thought I would see if I could modify the apple to make it look more like a pumpkin, and then add a few features for a jack-o'-lantern hook. So I'm going to start off by changing the profile a little bit and see if we can make more of a pumpkin-shaped profile. Once I've got the profile where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and knock the sharp edges off of the hook portion. We'll come back and finish the hook later, but I just don't want to mess up the jack-o'-lantern part while I'm forging the hook. Then I'll use whatever stamping and carving tools I have that seem to fit the best. Probably not the ideal tools for this, but I'm going to make this a quick, simple project. Whatever tools you have that you think will work, give them a try. If you're going to buy a bunch of these things from Roy so you can make them up to sell at craft shows or gift shops, something like that, you might want to make tools specific to the job. After seeing what I came out with, I think I would like different tools and I'd take a little bit different approach. But it's one of those things that you learn while you go, and the more of them you do, the happier you're going to be with the end result. Now I'm drilling right into the eyes for the mounting screws. That way they become part of the feature of the eyes and it just depends on if you use a flathead screw or a roundhead screw, what that's gonna look like. I'm just going to use my usual Johnson's Paste Wax, applied while it's still hot enough to smoke, and it's a quick, simple little project. Once you figure something like this out, you can probably make these in 15-20 minutes apiece, and hopefully if you're selling them, you'll be able to make a good profit that way. Now, blacksmithingblank.com has lots of different project blanks and lots of different hook shapes and styles, so check those out if you're interested in something like this. There's a whole series of Christmas-themed ones, and with Christmas coming up, I think I'll try to get to each one of those hooks early in December so you can kind of see what those look like. And there is a link with a coupon code down in the video description. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop. Have fun, but stay safe. Wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.